Epiphany. I was 15. I had befriended a lovely Dominican girl at my school in upstate New York, and she invited me to come and spend time with her in the Dominican Republic. And at dinner one evening, I mentioned it to my parents, thinking they would. And my father, bless him, worked triple shifts, made the ticket happen, mm -hmm. but put me on the airplane by myself to what felt to me to be the other side of the world. And I arrived in the Caribbean, in the Dominican Republic, and I just thought I had landed in another world. They spoke another language, the music, the family. The, the coffee. <laughs> I love the coffee in the Dominican yeah. Republic. For me, that's a, that's a that highlight. And that opened my head in a way. I was just sudden, I went back home and I taught myself Spanish and I taught myself to play the guitar. I had visions of me, you know, reinventing myself as a Dominican. But it was just this moment where I understood that the world was huge and that it was all a plane ride away. And, and, and yet not that far, really. The D yeah. Dominican Republic typically is a place a lot of Canadians yeah. visit and visit often. Except they go right to the beaches and yes. experience right. And I did actually the opposite because I went into the, to Santo Domingo, the capital, Which and I learned. Which is wonderful. Yes. The history, so the architecture, the colonial I nature. It's and I learned more in those two weeks than I had learned in 15 years of high school, grade school with the nuns. It did. I mean, travel is an education and it's inspiration because I think it... And I'm, I'm my best when I try, my happiest, it's fun. There's so much to be had, there's so much to be experienced, you know, and I think it does, um, it just makes you a better individual. There's, so are you gonna go back to the Dominican Republic? I went back about five years ago and I tried to find my friend and I couldn't and I thought just as well because those memories are so special and she's probably the, some old lady unlike myself. Yes. <laughs> but I saw things and I remember things and I remembered smells, that was interesting to me. Um, you know, I, the sounds and just impressions, and it came, but it was only 40 years. <laughs> I was so lucky that my parents understood. They were from very modest means, but they understood early on that I had that thing in me that wasn't going to ever keep me home. You know, I was an explorer and I was curious and I thanked them. 